Have you ever did something wrong while you were saved or while you're trying to get saved? I, I'm a sinner. Out of both of you. I'm a sinner. Love you more than anything. 
thank you, Lord. We thank you for being a God on the throne that says high and looks low. Lord, we ask you to look on us today, God, as we come before you today, God. You come boldly before the throne of grace. That yeah. you may see mercy, grace and mercy to ask the time of need. So, Father, we give you praise. Look up every member of a God love ministries. Look up on our God love Bible college, God love ministries, all in the uh, alumni, God, worldwide. Lord, look at the people, your saints, name by name, one by one. Look on your precious ones here at Agape. Look on your bandits, look on your doctors, look on your pastors, look on your doctors, look on your teachers, ministers, deacons, look on Name by name, one by one, and bless your people. In this thy son, Jesus' name we pray. Look on every child, look on those who are house written under it. Look on those who are sick. Look on the sick and shouting, God. Look, touch and heal, God. As only we know you can and you will. Hallelujah. We come to you. We give them to you right now.
those that love the Lord and the yeah. Lord loves. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's why. Amen. Because the battle of the time is up short. Amen. He said, and then they shall come to pass. And he sent, he sent and signified it by his angel. Amen. Unto the servant John. Whenever God reveals things, he reveals them by his sons, the prophets, or his angels. Two says, and who bear record of the word, amen, who bears record of the word, the word of God, and of the testimony of Jesus Christ. And that's so every time there's a word in order to be spoken or to be written, the angels are there to administer. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Anybody familiar with the angel called Gabriel? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Gabriel was the one, amen, that when the book said mutation was heard in the ears of Mary, who was one speaking that very word? Okay. It was Gabriel the angel. Amen. Amen. And when God showed John and Daniel and several of his prophets the word of God, amen, the, the angels of God are the ones that said, now seal up that word. And it was the angels of God, amen, oh, that would say what? Write the word. Amen. Because these are directions or orders or instructions right. that were specific, specifically given to the angels to give to the prophets. Amen. And the angels are the ones that administer the word of God to his servants, the prophets. Yes. Amen. So here we have the angel of God telling servant John, now here's what you got to do. These are your next margin orders. He said in the second verse, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ. What is the testimony? His will and testament. What is the plan? of God. Just like my mother has a will and testament, so does amen, the prophet of God. Amen. Through God and so Jesus Christ and of all these things that he saw. In other words, you're going to testify what you would see and hear. He said, I want you to write down those things which you see and hear. He said, now John, you've been here a long time so I kept you here a long time so you have a lot of stuff to write down. Now, take your time. Amen. And write down what thus right says the Lord. Because right I want you to administer and right preach these things. Right Amen. Right now you know he may do the preach, but some people say he cannot preach like Paul or preach like Peter. But everybody got their call, their, their callings and, and their callings and their giftings. Yes, yes, Amen. Yes. But here, blessed is John. He says in the third verse, blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words. And then not only he hear the words of this prophecy, but also keep those things which yeah. are written. So as you write them down, as you hear the seed, I want you to write them down, then I want you to keep these things, yeah. hold on to these things. I mean, okay. these are things of eternal substance. Come on, somebody. Yeah. These are things that won't, they won't fall away. They will oh, last. Yeah, last. God said before any job will chill off his world, pass away. Yeah. No, before the world pass away, his word shall stand forever. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And so he's letting you know, I'm getting you ready, John, for a time that's coming upon the earth. You write it down, write it down, write it down. And I remember in the book of Habakkuk, he told me to also do what? Write it down. Amen. Make it print upon table that he that readeth may run. Amen. Who is he that readeth that runs? Nothing but the angels of God. And let me take time to put a pause for state identification right here. We do know that the angels of God are going to do their ministry at the man's ministry stop. Y'all know they got a ministry. They got a ministry too. The angels got a ministry. Amen. 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 Just like when the Israel got, and, and that's why the devil hates the Jews. Amen. Because they have a ministry. They what you call an end time ministry. And we're going to be passing the baton to one another. And then Jew Gentile, Jew Gentile. But then when the angels come on the scene, and it's going to be all over with the shout. Amen. It's going to be all over with the shout. Amen. They're going to come on fire and demonstration. Amen. Of the word of God. Amen. Holy Ghost, I cover what you want me to cover here. 
Amen. Amen. It's so much. It's so much. <laughs> Amen. Oh Over the book of Corinthians. Hallelujah. Right. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Even enjoy my own cooking. Amen. Right. But we ain't got to the meat yet. Over the book. Hallelujah. Of his word. I thank you, God. In the book of 1 Corinthians. Amen. In the 15th chapter. Glory to God. The word of God is good. It's quick and powerful than any two-edged sword. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 15 and 51. Amen. We know we're looking for this blessed day. Amen. And he said, Honda of shot. Amen. I first read 15 and 51 reads, Behold, I show you a mystery. Amen. He said, We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be what? Changed. Oh, look at me now. Look at me now. We're not going to look like this no more. Oh, I wish I had some. I wish I had some cameras flowing right now. And I can turn back time and say, this is how Sarah looked at 10. <laughs> this is how I looked at 12. You know how we look back in the day when we first gave our name to the Lord, 15 or whatever age we were, amen. We were slammed and tripped. <laughs> amen. We're not going to look like how we look now, saying, huh? of an eye, uh, amen, at the, at the last trump, now the honey old shot on the whole team, now, I've been so full, I've been feasting on the word these last few days, and there's a time when it comes to Revelation, in the book of Revelation, when it's going to be the last trump, the last, I mean, one more trumpet sound, that's all it takes, and we're going to be taken out of here, we're going to be hard, we're going to be caught up, we're going to be caught up, we're going to and I know some of us know at home because it was just too much. And I don't want to keep out here all day. <laughs> we be here all day. Oh, glory to God. He said, that last trumpet shall sound. And the dead in Christ shall be raised incorruptible. And may God the shall be raised incorruptible. Oh, right. oh, shut up. And we shall be what? Changed. Yeah. Oh, come on here. And we yeah. shall be whole. Didn't our singer, our sister sang it the other day at the funeral. Myra sang that song and we shall be whole. Holy God, I love our shot. We shall, I was at a voice like that. We shall behold you, Jesus. I know that that time is coming. He says, 3653 says, For this corruptible ship must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Now, you know, when we see a saint of God that wouldn't pass on, some of our Jewish brothers should say, Oh, they're now called immortals. Yeah, yeah. They're immortals. They, yeah. They've been elevated or promoted to the the, the uh, place of immortality. Yes. So now their home is not immortality. So now they're called Im the immortals. Yes. As though it was a movie. <laughs> the immortals. Isn't that something? My God. Amen. So they're not mortals like we are having flesh and blood and carnality, yes. but yet immortality you put on. It's like a robe you put on immortality. Come on, somebody. And then it says, and then shall be brought to pass. The saying it that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Because the devil thought he won. Jesus was standing there on that cross. And he was so happy having a heyday until Jesus took three steps down. <laughs> One, in the name of the Father. Two in the name of the Son, and three for the name of the Holy Ghost. He went down to hell and had jailhouse rock for real and took back the keys of life, death, and hell at the grave. Come on, somebody. He said, No more trespassing here. No more trespassing here. Glory to God. Let me go on. Hundred of those shot. I mean, that'll be a shout of faith. Give us something right there. And then give us two back our rights. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah.
Brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. In other words, God has said, keep working. Don't be sitting on the of your thumbs. Or wait on the rapture. Wait on the rapture. Get up and do some work. <laughs> Don't sit around and pull on your thumbs. No, it's God said, I'm coming back, but keep on looking up. Keep on looking up. Keep looking up and working. Hallelujah. Pass out tracks. Amen. We did another order of tracks. They should be coming soon. Keep on working. Keep on working. 17. Hallelujah. 17 and 30 says, Hallelujah. Even thus shall it be in the day. When the Son of Man is revealed. Amen. The Son of Man. Who is that? Jesus. Jesus be the Son of Man. And in that day he shall be upon the housetop. Let me read that right. 30th verse. Glory to God. 30 to 31. Where we at? Revelation? No, I'm in, I'm in Luke. I'm sorry. Luke. And in that day he shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house. And his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Yes, Come on when the Lord comes. 32 says, Remember Lot's wife. I'm reading Luke 17 and 32. Remember Lot's wife. Yes. What happened to Lot's wife? She looked back. In yes. the time of the rapture that's coming, that's impending. Do not be tempted to look back. Right. He said, well, somebody said, I left money. Don't go back. All right. All right. I, I, I left my kinfo. Right. Don't go back. All right. All right. I left this and that. Don't go back. Don't go back. Do all you can now to get your kinfo saved, yeah. get your yeah. loafers saved. Yeah. But when the Lord says time for you to get on up, it's getting up time. Go you right. got to go. Hallelujah. Right. We got to go. We got to be ready. Right. 33 says, whosoever shall seek to save his life, Shall what lose it. Yeah. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Yeah. If you try to save your own life, don't try to save it, but you belong to God. And then 34 says, and I tell you, in that day or in that night, there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other one shall be left. The two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other one left. The two men shall be taken. The other man shall, or the two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wherefore, I mean, wheresoever the body is, there will the eagles be gathered together. And that's what the scripture says, where the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. No, wherever Jesus is, we're going to be gathered together. And it just means when you say in the bed or grinding or mill. I mean, there's people that's working or resting, but nevertheless, stay ready. Stay ready. Yeah. The word is stay rapture ready. Amen. Hey, let's go on. Now, this is the part two we're going into. This is part of it right here, starting over in the book of Genesis. Amen. Genesis 5 and 21. And, you know, I made up in my mind. You know, Dr. Dixon, she did her portion. Now we got to do our part. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Say, we got to do our part. We got to work until the what? Day is done. And then we got to work until the day is done. And so that means we're here. We're reporting to duty, for duty. Amen. Unto the Lord. Yeah. Amen. 5 and 21 reads. Hallelujah. Amen. Genesis 5 and 21. And it says here, Amen. And Enoch, Enoch lived 65 years. 65 years and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Then it says finally 24. And Enoch walked with God and he was what? He was not. For God took him. Yeah. Now, that's in, that's that you know that's that you know that the rapture is coming. Yes. <clears throat> Somehow God gives us assemblies, but this is not assembly, this is for real. Yes. Amen. So we know that Enoch has not yet died, and that he is in the heavenlies. Yes. So that you know that Jesus is what on his way back. Yes. Amen. And then, then we have praise God, Elijah and Moses that will be coming back, the two olive plants that will be witnesses. Amen. Of this event. 
Amen. But nevertheless, we're talking about Enoch because he, God wanted him to be a president yes. of what the rapture looks like. God just said, you know what? You're my friend. I'm taking you home. Come on. We're going to finish that conversation up here. Yeah. Amen. And that's what happened. God just took Enoch, yeah. amen, as one of the signposts of the rapture. Come with me to the book of Elijah. Amen. In the book of 2 Kings. Amen. Amen. Talking about Elijah. Amen. In the book of 2 Kings. Hallelujah. And we know that Enoch also had a son. Amen. One of the oldest men in the Bible. The oldest man in the Bible. 969 years. Amen. But we're going to 2 Kings 2. 2 Kings, the second chapter. So 2 Kings and then the second chapter. Verses 1 through 15. Now, we're getting close to the meat, so then I can slow it down. I'm just excited. Start at the first verse. And it says, And it came to pass, when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven, by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. Now, this is a conversation going between his protege and the mentor. Amen. And they have the conversation. Well, he tell, he's trying to get rid of him. And he said, because he knows there's of great value to have that anointing. Yeah. And he keeps trying to get rid of him. He said, no, I'm not going to leave you. He, because he's praying, Lord, is this the one? Is this the one? Is Elisha the one? And Elijah's trying to get rid of him. But let's go. It says in the, in the second verse, and Elijah said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. Yeah. So they went down to Bethel. Three says. And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head unto today? Now a lot of people ask me, Did you know your mother was taken away? Was going to be taken away? Yeah, he told me three times. Yes, yes, yes. Three times this year. Yeah. He repeated to me. <laughs> he always, the Lord always, he always speaks to me when I'm sleeping. And it's not in a dream. I actually hear his voice. Three times. And I rebuked it. I said, that's a lying spirit. And I, and, and I know it was not. But I, but I didn't want to receive it. Yeah. And then, the, I mean, Vincent said the Lord told her also earlier part of this year. But she wouldn't say anything. And then eventually she revealed it all when we came to the hospital. And the Lord used her to prophesy even her own home going. Yeah. Amen. And I had to attest to it because I know the Lord told me. I could have said, well, Lord, you never showed me. But he did three times. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And that's why I'm letting you know. A lot of times the prophet may know stuff, but they don't say it just because they heard it. Okay. Amen. We wait to see the fulfillment of the thing. And say, well, Lord, if you said it, you bring it to pass. Yeah. Okay, let's go on. Amen. So three, he says, the, the prophets asked Elijah, do you know the Lord's going to take your master from you, tip him from your head today? And he says, and he said, yeah, I know it. <laughs> Hold ye your peace. He said, no, what that's what the prophet was saying. This is exactly what I said. I know, but I ain't going to say anything. Yeah, yeah. So he didn't want to talk about it. Because we don't want our spiritual fathers or our natural fathers, spiritual or natural, to go away. Right. Well, your natural mother, your spiritual mother, to go away. Right. Four says, and Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he said, as the Lord liveth and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. And, and the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yea, again. I know it. Hold you your peace. Now, that's the second time. <laughs> it's, it's funny. I never recognize that this had went on three times, and I had it encountered three times yeah. with the Lord. And here we go again in the sixth verse. And Elijah said unto him, Terry, I pray thee here, for the Lord has sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. And the fifty men of the sons of the prophets went on and stood afar. Uh, uh, um, stood to view afar off, and they stood by the Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters, and they were divided hither and thither, wow. so that they too went over on dry ground. Right. 
That was the last miracle right there. Yeah. Ah, was the last. Because the very last miracle is when he take it up. Hey, hallelujah. So the ninth verse says, and it, and it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elijah, ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elijah said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And I was telling you for two whole minutes, yeah. Dr. Dixon's eyes were just open, staring at me. Mm -hmm. Just fixed. They didn't blink. For two whole minutes. She held my, my eyesight, my, my stare. And as I was looking at her eyes, I began to say, Lord, what is she trying to tell me? Because she could not communicate with her mouth due to the pain medicine. And here I thought about that when I saw this. And it says, and, and, and Elijah cried, and Elijah saw it, and he, okay, let me go, I skipped up. Let me go back here to the 11th verse. And it came to pass, as they went, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chair. I skipped over here, the closest to verse. And he said, Thou hast asked a heart, but nevertheless, if thou see me, there it is. When I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee, but if not, it shall not be so. So, I'll, you know, that's the judge in the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Ghost, whether the Lord did something on that time when, when pastors are staring at my eyes at that time. 11 verse, and it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and forces of fire, and part and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elijah saw it and he cried, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more and he took hold of his own clothes and ripped them in two pieces. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of, jo of Jordan. And he, took, and he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the water and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he had also had smitten the water, they parted hither and thither, and Elijah went over. And get this on the 15th verse. And when the sons of the prophets were, were which were to view at Jericho saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah does rest on Elisha. Hallelujah. Yeah. That was a third. <clears throat> yeah. And that sample called by Elisha Hallelujah. prior to the amen, amen, preview of the rapture. Amen. And now we want to go on. This is where we're going to close the book at. In the book of Philippians. I mean, the book of Philippians. Oh, Acts, rather. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Have your way, Lord. In your name, Jesus. In the book of Acts, amen, the eighth chapter. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 8 and the 26th verse. 8 and 26 reads, Hallelujah. It's talking about the Ethiopian unit. Amen. And it says here, it says, And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza. Unto Gaza. And where are they right now? Israel. They're in Gaza. Amen. That's where a lot of commotion is going on over right now. So this is a hot spot. Y'all understand? This is a hot spot. Amen. And, and, and it says, Which is desert. It's a desert place. Oh, God. And it says, Then he rose and went. And, you know, that's really like a port right now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Back then it was like a desert, but they used it a lot for porting goods and services. That's why they want to bring, amen, shipment in, praise God, because the people need services. People need supplies and so forth due to the war over in Israel. This is exactly where they were. He said, And he rose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, amen, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen, of, e of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure yes. and had come to Jerusalem for to worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Who was returning and sitting in his chariot. He said, now he was a man in authority, but he was a man under authority. He served under the queen, Candace. 
But even though he was serving the queen, he felt that he needed more. He needed more. There's something that money cannot buy. And right. things that this world cannot buy. What would a man gain to gain the whole world and then lose his soul? Yes. <laughs> he found out that he needed more than just what the queen can give him. And then so the scripture tells us that he had praised God that he was returning and sitting in his chariot and he was trying to read the book of Isaiah, the prophet. Or they pronounce it Isaiah right here. And then the spirit said unto him, Philip, go near. That old, see, that ain't got to do is do your part. He was just studying the word all by himself. <laughs> and then just sitting there studying the word of God. When you're standing there doing whatever God calls you to do. I'm talking about in the end times. <laughs> the times that we live in right now. <laughs> and this is just a, a foreshadow of things to come. <laughs> when it happened in the book of Acts, do you know that we live in a continuation of the book of Acts? Right. We're not just living like it stopped. Yeah. And then the rapture of part two of the Old Testament, New Testament is starting up again. No, we're in the continuation of the book of Acts. Yeah. And so when God caught up, Philip is what you're about to see. God just said, I can do it again. Yes. I can do it again. Yes. I can do it again. <laughs> and so in the ninth and 29th verse, it says, Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said unto him, Understandest thou what thou readest? And what do you know the word? How long have you studied the Pentateuch? How long have you studied the Torah? How long have you come back in and was reading out of the Old Testament? What do you know? And Philip began to preach the word to him. And he said, oh, I understand is that what thou readest? And he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? It was, I would know the word, but I don't have nobody to teach me. The Lord said, who should I send? Who would go for us? I said, Jesus said, I'll go.
But here it is. Here it is. Wait for it. Huh? Both Peter, uh, both Phil, rather, and the eunuch, and he baptized him. Huh? He said both Phil and the eunuch. Huh? And then it says in the 39th verse, I come to an end here. And when they were come up out of the water, huh? the spirit, huh? the spirit huh? of the Lord caught away. The spirit of the Lord caught away the eunuch. Huh? And he saw him no more. And he went on his way, rejoicing. Huh? But Philip was found at a zoo. Lord today with us and 
and to pray for us, amen, as we stay on the wall yes. and carrying out the wishes of Dr. George Reed Dixon. Pray for us. Amen. We got a faith fill us now. Y'all be blessed. Amen. Let's get ready. Bless the Lord today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless you today, God. Hallelujah.